how's it going guys welcome back to the channel so at the cabin for the weekend now so figured i'll take you guys along do a little weekend at the cabin type video so i got here uh, last evening friday evening uh, didn't do much just kind of relaxed had a little campfire it was a beautiful evening but uh, yeah it's saturday morning so the plan for today with hunting season just around the corner uh, i'm gonna head out the bay in my boat uh, to an area where i plan to do some moose hunting this fall and i've got a couple of trail cameras down there that i've had out all summer that i want to check see what animals are on the move and i'm also going to be bringing some stuff to set up a little bear bait station so i need i got a pile of bear bait that i need to uh, just get out of my deep freeze so we're going to do that and uh, set up a trail camera on the bear bait see what see if we can bring any nice bears in over the course of the fall here Anyways, uh, yeah, that's what we're going to do. Spend the day out in the woods and, uh, of course, we'll stop and boil the kettle, cook some food and have a coffee and stuff. Stay tuned. cheap dog food that I bought a couple years ago for beer bait so I need to get rid of this Millie's pretty interested in it here now okay so pretty much everything in here was put in here for beer bait over the last couple of years so I didn't get any beer bait out last year but there's a ton of stuff in here a lot of old breads and desserts and stuff like that so I'm going to get rid of all of this today, set it all out for bear bait, clean out the deep freeze, and hopefully make some room for some fresh bear or moose meat for the fall. Some old fryer grease in here that I need to get rid of as well. Duck decoys, soon be time to get them out as well. Yeah, I want to get rid of a bunch of this old fryer grease. This has been kicking around for way too long. So I'll take a couple of these. Should be good to uh, lure the bears in. All right, I got the boat secure. I'm gonna be here for probably most of the day, so I got the boat moored off, so when the tide falls, the boat won't wash up on the beach. And I just got my gear stashed right here. 
I'm gonna leave all the bear bait stuff here for now. The first order of business is uh, I'm gonna go for a big old hike now and check my two trail cameras. It'll probably take me at least an hour to walk over to the farthest camera and back. I'm gonna go do that and uh, see what footage we have. And then we'll make our way back here. I'm gonna set the bear bait uh, not too far from the water here. That way, when I bring bait in, it'll be easier to uh, carry the bait into the bait site. That's the plan. All right, I'm gonna grab uh, whatever I can carry. My little chainsaw and stuff. And I'll carry that over a little ways through the woods where I plan to set the bear bait, stash it there, and uh, hike on out to the trail cameras. All right, just coming up on the first camera. I haven't checked these in about a month now, so there should be some kind of footage on here. Oh, right off the bat, this one, this camera is twisted around the tree. So I'd say Mr. Bear was back playing with this one. This used to be facing over this way. Anyways, I'll check the card and uh, I'll throw the uh, footage up on the screen here. All right, so there's something going on with the camera. Uh, it's supposed to take 10 second videos, but a lot of those videos were only like one second and two seconds. So I'm not sure what's going on there. I'm gonna have to play with the settings and see if I can fix that. It should take full 10 second videos. But yeah, that cow and calf is still hanging around here. Still no sign of a bull though. So that kind of sucks. I'm hoping a, a bull is gonna come around. Hopefully uh, once the rut gets on, a bull will uh, find that cow and move into the area. Well, I guess we'll have to wait and see. And uh, yeah, we had a bear that uh, messed with the camera. And after the bear video, he moved the camera over and then the camera was kind of pointing down towards the ground at the tall grass. So every time the grass blew in the wind, I was getting just a video of nothing. So after the bear fooled with the camera, we kind of messed up the rest of the, uh, the rest of the time that I had the camera out. But anyways, I'll fix that one up and uh, put a new memory card in it, set it back out. And like I said, I'm really hoping a bull is gonna find that cow here eventually and uh, start hanging around this area too. Okay, so I just stopped by the side of this little brook here. I had a camera out here earlier this summer, but the batteries died the last time I checked it, so I pulled the camera and took it home with me. So I just put another one back here, and this is the New View hunting trail camera that they sent me for free um, earlier this summer, or at the beginning of the summer. So I had some trouble with that camera. Some of you guys may have seen the video where I put it out, and then when I came back to check it, the camera was basically broken. It wouldn't turn on or anything. So I had some trouble with that camera and uh, I told you guys I would keep you updated on what was going on with it. So after I had trouble with the camera, uh, the New View hunting uh, customer service team, they saw that I had trouble with the camera and I was in contact with them. And uh, anyways, long story short, they had some similar issues with the cameras from other people, but something that they told me was it may have been the memory card. So the camera came with its own memory card. It's a micro SD card. So they told me they were thinking it was a problem with the memory card and not the camera itself. So I just put a new memory card in it. 
and it, it seems to be working again so i'm going to set it back here by this brook and i'll let you guys know hopefully this time or sorry next time when i come out i'll actually have some footage from that camera to show you guys because the last time i set it out i didn't get any footage because the camera just it just didn't work but yeah hopefully i'll have some footage to share from that camera um i gotta be honest with you guys like i hate to give a bad review to anything but but the camera just hasn't worked for me up to this point. I've had it for a while now and just hasn't been working. But hopefully that memory card, the new memory card, will uh, fix the issue. But I'll keep you guys posted. There's Goosey. Oh boy, hey, let's go. Well guys, if you watched my last video, last week's video where I did the overnight camp uh, and Goose had that injury on the way out the next day, uh, just a little update on that. As you can see, he's fine again now. I'm still not exactly sure what he had done. I'm thinking it was his back that he had hurt or something. Maybe pulled a muscle, I'm not sure, but I ended up getting him out of the woods that day uh, without any trouble really. And it took him a few days to get over it, but after a few days just resting up this week at home, he's pretty much back to himself again. So nothing serious, and uh, as you can tell, he's back on the move. Loose tracks here, almost up to the uh, camera. And we gotta hike our way back down through the woods and back to the boat to set up the bear bait. All right, guys, so kind of disappointing, actually, just four pictures on that camera. And I've, like I said, I've had that camera out for about a month now since I last checked it. So it's a cow and a calf. I would imagine it's most likely the same cow and calf that I'm getting on that other camera, the first one I checked. So yeah, not, not too promising at all. The last check, I did have a, a young bull, just like a little spike bull passed by one of the cameras but even he hasn't shown up since so not looking too promising at all i'm thinking that i'm gonna have to maybe leave this area and start scouting around for a new area because i need to find a bull this fall and right now there's just no sign of a bull around this spot at all anyways i'm gonna hike back to the boat now and uh, get working on that bear bait all right here we are back where i left the chainsaw so I'm gonna set up uh, just a real simple bear bait right here. I'm gonna use this old dead stick as kind of like a backstop. I'll get some more dead sticks to kind of go up and down to close off the opening underneath the, the dead tree here. And I'm just gonna dump the bait in front of that and kind of cover it over with some more uh, dead sticks and stuff. And I don't know if you can tell by the camera, but up here is like a hill that I can sit on top of and look down through here and I'll have a clear shot right to the to the bait so that's the plan we get the little chainsaw going now and uh, set up a quick little bait site here
I want to kind of block this off so the bear can't get at it from the back. He has to stay in front here. That'll give me a clear shot when I'm up on that hill that I was talking about. So I want to keep him on this side of the stick of this dead tree here. chainsaw is pretty good it's a little underpowered uh, if you try to force it too hard it cuts out like fairly easily actually but it's a hell of a lot better than uh, using my little folding box saw I'll tell you that so it gets the job done That's going to do for now so i got the back all blocked off here with these vertical pieces that's going to keep the bear over on this side where i want them and i'm just going to dump the bait right down in here and then i'll get some smaller sticks and just going to cover over the top to keep the uh, crows and birds and stuff like that from stealing all the bait before the bear gets to it That was a good workout. Uh, took me about half an hour or so to carry all this bait over from the boat. So now I got it here. So the next step in this bag right here, I have what I'm going to use as my stink bait. So the idea with this, I'm going to tie some rope onto it. Um, inside of here is uh, a mesh bag that's full of old codfish carcasses. So I think this is from two, uh, last summer. I saved a bunch of the carcasses after I filleted my cod, cut the fillets off my cod. And uh, what's left basically is the cod's head and the bones and all that stuff, the tail, some of the skin and stuff. Put it all in this bag and just froze it in the deep freeze. So now I'm gonna take it out of the plastic bag, tie this uh, mesh bag uh, up with a rope and I'm going to throw the rope up in one of these big tall trees and kind of hang the, uh, the codfish way up high in a tree. So the idea with this is uh, once this fish starts to thaw out and rot, the wind is going to carry the scent of that way on out through the woods here because it's so high up in the trees and that should pull the bears in. Another reason why I want it up high in the tree is because I don't want the bears to be eating much of this rotten meat. So if you're going to kill a bear and you plan to eat the meat, you want to feed the bear good food. So you don't want it to be eating a bunch of rotten meat and stuff or that's going to make the meat, uh, the bear meat taste not as, as good as it could be. So I'm going to keep the, the rotten meat hung way up in the tree. Now sure there's a chance the bear is going to climb up in the tree and get it down after a while. But once the bear gets in here, the breads and my sweets and you know, all the, the good food that I want the bear to be eating is going to be right here on the ground. So he's going to go for this first. And uh, that's going to be his main food source. So the idea with the fish is just to get the bear to come into the area and see what's on the go and check it out.
All right, well, that's gonna smell real bad in about three or four days from now. So I'm just gonna dump my bait right in here now. So I'm actually pretty interested to see what's in this bag because it's just a big bag of random stuff that I've had in my deep freeze for some of it for two years now. I think it's mostly breads and stuff. So anyways, all my garbage is coming with me. I'm gonna dump everything out of the uh, plastic wrapper and put it back into a garbage bag and take all that with me I'll never leave anything behind any kind of plastic or garbage or anything some cinnamon raisin bagels here mm, actually still smells pretty good no Millie not for you <laughs> Millie's real interested in what's going on here More bread. This is the stuff that I want the bear to be eating right here. And this is the stuff they're gonna go after, you know. The bears, uh, they'll eat the rotten meat, but if they can get this high uh, carbohydrate stuff, this is what they're gonna go for. They're starting to try and pack on as much weight as they can for winter now, so anything high in carbohydrates is gonna be ideal bait for them. Old hot dog buns. Really? Leave it. I think this is some uh, old packs of oatmeal that were gone out of date. Like maple brown sugar. Smells real good. Beer's gonna love that. Okay, I got some of this uh, fruit punch drink mix. I found this, uh, I was using this the last time I shot a bear. I used to mix it up with water and like a spray bottle and spray it all around my bait site. So I got a little bit of this left. I think what I'm gonna do is just mix it in with the old fryer oil, shake it around a bit and that'll give a bit of a sweet smell to the fryer oil. When I dump the fryer oil around here, any animals, bears, or any other kind of animal that come around, they're going to get that on their paws and stuff and track the fryer grease through the woods, and that should draw more bears into the area. Hopefully. Millie! Millie's eating the bait. Millie, leave it! All right, here's my bait pile. So I'm going to cut some small sticks now just to cover over the top of this. Like I said, to keep the crows and the birds and stuff from robbing all the bait. step is to uh, dump out my fryer oil and it's just a waiting game. boat so my plan was to have a little fire a little cook up here on the beach before I headed back to the cabin but as you can see the wind has come up big time it's blowing a gale out here so I'm gonna scrap that idea and uh, just head on back to the cabin anyways guys I'll check back with you guys a little bit later today something to do at the cabin and uh, this big <laughs> pile of wood here has been here for way too long so this is wood that I cut over the winter and uh, brought it down here but I've been struggling to uh, find the time to spend that at getting it split and packed up but this is a good weekend for it so fall is coming and uh, I want to get this wood all split packed up and uh, taken care of luckily I got some assistance today so I split about half of this wood already with my uh, 
splitting mall here because dad's old wood splitter here was broken down he just replaced the motor on it so i split a lot of wood with uh, with the splitting mall but now that this wood splitter is back in service i'm gonna take advantage of it and use it to hopefully work through this wood pile before the end of the weekend guys just came in this woods road to have a look around there's a moose right down here on the bog What a beautiful morning. Well, driving around on a Sunday morning, sipping on a coffee, watching the sunrise, watching some moose, listening to jigs and reels. A lot more could you want. Big old pile of fresh bear scat here, right in the middle of the road. Well, just look at this, boys. Never fails. There's always some idiot out there who can't uh, bring your garbage to the dump. Ridiculous. Nice spot here to uh, do some glassing with the binoculars. 
little look out here it looks down over this pond and a couple of bogs and stuff there down towards the end of the pond good spot to uh see a moose i don't know how you'd ever get down to it and getting one out of it i don't think it'd be very easy either but nice spot to have a look Alright guys, that was a, a nice morning to be out and about, managed to see a moose and uh, watch that sunrise, it's a really beautiful morning. So I'm going to head back to the cabin now, it's going to be time to start packing up and head back to town, call it a weekend. So thanks for watching, I'm going to end the video here, uh, got two weeks till hunting season starts, so I'd imagine next weekend I'll be doing more of the same, uh, checking some trail cameras, scouting around for moose try to find a, an area where there's a bull or two hanging around and, and focus on that area for the hunting season so yeah i'll be out doing something so i'll probably take the camera along thanks for watching and uh see you next week